For an air master, you will need a utility knife, foil tape, toggle bolts, drywall saw, screwdriver, and a drill. Either above the air handler, on the return duct, or in the attic on a junction box, find a clear, clean space of duct board where you can install the air master. After opening the box, remove the owner's manual, place the parts to the side, On the second to last page of the manual, you'll find a diagram. Remove the sheet of paper from the manual and place the template on the ductboard. Insert a Phillips screwdriver into all four corners of the diagram, puncturing the paper and the ductboard. These four holes will be where the toggle bolts go to secure the air master to the ductboard. Next, use a drywall saw to mark the top, bottom, and sides of your two circular cutouts. These cutouts are where the UV bulb, ozone bulb, and sensor will go through the ductboard to make contact and treat the air. After marking all sides of the cutouts, remove the paper and cut out the ductboard. Make sure when you're getting close to the end of the circle, your last cut is pulled towards you. This way you can easily pull out the cutout and throw away. If it were to fall inside the ductwork, it would be very difficult to remove. After making the cutouts, use your screwdriver to wallow out the holes on the corners. Next, take the frame and insert into the ductboard. Note that the bottom of the board has the electrical adapter. After inserting, thread your toggle bolts through the board and into the wing nuts, popping them through the duct board. Do not tighten them all the way down as they will each have to be tightened down little by little to make sure all corners are secured. After all four toggle bolts are started, pull the frame towards you to apply pressure on the wing nuts. Use a drill to draw the toggle bolts in halfway, then go to the next one. Continue this process all the way around until all toggle bolts are snug and tight to the ductboard. After the board is secured to the ductboard, use foil tape to seal all four sides.
After sealing with the foil tape, take the electrical wire and insert into the adapter at the bottom of the board. Next, take the faceplate and attach the electrical ribbon to the faceplate. The faceplate has to sit just right on the board so that an arm triggers a lever on the board. Use the bolts that come in the bag to fasten the blue faceplate to the board. Use foil tape to hide the wire, whether running down or to the side on the ductboard.